welcome back so this is the last package that was um lost in the mail i did a previous video the one right before this of the of the plant that also was shipped around the same time that got lost slash delayed in the mail so we'll see what condition these are in today is may 5th and these have been in transit since august 20 i mean august what am i talking about since april <clears throat> since april 25th they've been in transit so let me move that out the way uh, uh, uh if you want to go look at that video that's the one that was lost that came yesterday they were both been in transit since um since april 20 april 25th so here we go this is from the new plant co um they're on etsy i don't know that's where i shopped them from so i know for sure they're on there again i found them in a group on facebook with people talking about like where to go and look for plants where they shop at online so first you can see this is how it's packaged it's in these plastic almost like tupperware type of containers which this is really cool um i don't know where they got these but i've never seen any plants packaged this way so let's go ahead and open it And this one is the first one. You have to keep these and do something with those. This is the first one right here. And it actually looks really good. Obviously it's thirsty because it's been in the box for so long. But this is the Diffenbachia Camouflage. So it looks good. This leaf right here has a little browning on it. But I don't think that's anything major. And you can see they wrap the bottom. So this looks like a rubber band. It is a rubber band. <laughs> Go ahead and take that off. Those are my kids in the background, as always. Okay. So this is a simple setup, just paper. You have one little yellowing leaf here. And this leaf has a little bit of damage on it. But overall, I think it looks really good, especially for being in the mail as long as it has been. It's of course dry, so it needs to be watered. You can take a look at the bottom. You don't really have any roots coming out. It's, yeah, it's a little bit of root peeking out, but not much. So I'm definitely happy with this one. I've been wanting one of these, but obviously during quarantine, can't get out to the stores because I know they would have really big ones like this at like home depot they they get the big different buckets all the time but i wanted one it's actually bigger than what i expected it to be so i am happy with it and i've gotten more into started off with smaller plants um a space thing and also because i like to see you know how much they've actually grown under my care so there's that one and i got one more I actually ordered a separate thing from them, which is interesting because that one shipped well after this, and it's supposed to be coming on Thursday, or Thursday I think, so that one said it's on time and on track, so hopefully. Now this one, right off, I noticed is a lot more wet. I'm guessing this is the type of plant that needs that moisture. This is the... My goodness, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to um I'll have to put it in the screen. But I first saw this plant on another Instagrammer's page. So we have some damage right here on that leaf. This one has like a little hole in it. Okay, so more more um leaf damage to this one, but um like I said, you can see these two new ones coming right here are perfect. Um, I don't think it's anything um, super bad. You can see you have these two little ones right here. Cause like I said, you know, they shipped it out on time. So it wasn't their fault that it got 
lost in the male vortex. So this needs some some cleaning it off. It has some I don't know what that is. It actually looks like salt or something, which is weird. Probably sand. So I just have to clean those leaves off. I'll leave all the leaves intact for now and see what they're gonna do once the plant um, acclimates, but still very pretty. I really like it. Um, I first saw it, like I was saying, on an Instagrammer's page, Plants and Things. She was doing a video and she had one of these. And I remember thinking it was really pretty because I like like the maroon, like purple backing. This <clears throat> is, I would have to say smaller, um, just in comparison to the picture than what I was expecting. But this, their site does say, and again, if this is them right there, or if they're on Etsy, it does say that the picture is a representation of the plant. They don't take actual individual pictures of each plant, but they do put um, a representation of what your plant will be in the picture. So that's something to keep in mind. I know some people um, get disappointed when the, the plant doesn't look exactly like the picture. Um, I'm okay with it if you let me know ahead of time. Like this is a picture, you know, of one of the things that you may get. It's not the exact one. I get it when you have a lot of plants, you can't take individual pictures. Um, I have a problem when there's a significant amount of damage and you posted a picture of this perfect picture, perfect plant saying, oh, this is, this is an example of what you'll get and then something comes damaged. But anyway, I'm happy with these. I'm happy that they made it through this long, um, this long stretch in the mail and there is some damage, but nothing that I feel like is, um, you know, too terrible. So. I'm gonna let these sit out. I'm gonna turn the grow light on. I'm gonna give this one some water. Uh, this one <clears throat> was pretty wet. It still is pretty wet, so it doesn't need any water. So I'm just gonna let it sit out. And yep, that's it. So this is what I got from the new plant co on Etsy. So if you guys wanna see what they have, you can go over there and check them out. And yeah, the packaging was amazing. Like I said, they did ship out on time, but for whatever reason, this, along with my other package, got, um, you know, held up in the mail, got lost in the mail or whatever. So I'm glad they're finally here, and now I can add them in with the rest of my plants. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.